Hello, hello YouTube, it is your boy GZTV back with another video, and in this video we are going to be discussing the 8th episode of Season 3 of Ozarks. We only have two more episodes left in this season, and we're definitely going to be wrapping that up this coming weekend. I don't know why this one here is sticking up, but yeah, um, we're trying to be law-abiding citizens here in the show right now, aren't we? Um... Yeah, pretty much one big glob of video, just discussing the plot and kind of getting some talking points off of it, you know, that sort of thing. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the third season of Ozark seems to be building to a showdown, not between Wendy and Marty Bird, but with Helen Pierce. Helen Pierce seems to be a major player. There's a lot of factors. Things are stacking up against the Birds for Helen Pierce to possibly take action. And hell, she, she might even be getting the cartel involved, which is definitely not good for the birds at all. It could actually be what brings the fractured bird couple back together, a common enemy. What happens in the final scene of BFF will alter the landscape of the show forever. You can see it in Janet McTeer's eyes. She's not going to let Ben Davis live. You see, that, you see this picture right here. Obviously, he's talking to Wendy Bird there, but it is the same shit. To fucking Helen Pierce. Um, he'll likely be dead by the morning and likely be dead by next episode. Like, he, like probably the opening sequence. And what will that mean for his sister, Wendy Bird? She knows how much trouble Ben can be, but she won't turn the other way if Helen has him killed like she did Sue. This is a blood brother to her, you know? She can't just let this slide. She can't just let Helen do whatever the fuck she wants to her, her brother, you know? My teeth are kind of crooked. Speaking speaking of Sue, man, um, the the chasm between Helen and Omar and the birds have has been widening for a few episodes now, and it doesn't help when Marty learns that the kindly but greedy therapist Sue has likely been murdered when he's like looking through her, her house, looking through her files, realizes the last people she met was Helen Pierce and Frank Jackson. Marty passes the info along to Wendy, who pretty much yells at Helen, like, why the hell would you do this? Um, we had it figured out, and she's like, well, that's not what that portion of her front yard said, you know? Um, these two former PFFs are not seeing eye to eye anymore. Everyone seems to be getting exhausted with one another on Ozark, and it's going to lead to the death of someone. I think someone is going to die in this season that is quite important. Not Ben Davis. I mean, he's, def he's definitely more of a side character. He was introduced this season. I'm talking about the core season one characters. Probably more than one someone, too. I don't know. Most of BFF is built around a fundraising event at the Bell for the senator that Wendy has been wooing, Andrew Wade. Uh, while Ruth is still deep in her recovery and trauma, she's asked to help clean dirty champagne flutes by Marty and set up the event. So, you know, she's kind of back in action here. Um, yeah, this isn't going to be a long video. This is definitely going to be a little more concise. I mean, it's not because I was late to making a video, but yeah, I might actually like kind of give some thoughts about some of the storylines at the end. I don't normally do that. We kind of just explain what happens in the show and then that's that. Um... Um, let's see, Marty is really bad at reading people's needs. He's vastly underestimating her condition and taking her for granted in a dozen ways. If that could be a problem, you know, there's a big storyline building that Wyatt could possibly get Ruth to turn against the birds. Hell, Ben doesn't even like his own family, to a point. Which, obviously, Ben's probably not going to be a factor for much longer, but you get what I mean. Um, even more of a problem is the simmering rage of Ben Davis. He wants vengeance for the beating of his girlfriend, but he can't take on a dozen guys in a Casey truck yard by himself. He can't even do that, let alone get to the building and deal with the leaders. You know, Frank Cosgrove, his son, he can't even get to that point. So, I don't know what he expects. Um, yeah. He gets hammered at a bar, soaking in his own inability to protect his girlfriend and his general rage issues. Ben, a Budweiser guy, picks a fight with a suit pretty much just because he had the nerve to ask for a whiskey list. And he gets his dumb ass arrested. Yeah. Ben Ben is a fucking idiot. I, I know he has mental issues and there's nothing he can do. But hey, there is something he can do. Take your fucking meds, dude. You know? Like, what are you, what are you doing? And then Ben t makes a top five dumb moves on Ozark decision and tells the arresting officers that Helen Pierce is his family lawyer. So pretty much saying that he's tied into the business and that Helen Pierce has something to do with the Bird Foundation. Or the Bird family. 
Helen Pierce is a high-powered person, one of the biggest drug cartels in the world. She is not a family lawyer for a guy who gets into a bar fight. This, no, like you're you're wrong, buddy. Come on. Ben Davis might be the dumbest character on this entire show. I'm not even joking. Like ever, there's never been someone do more stupid things than we've seen with Ben here. Sue underestimated what Helen would do to her, and Ben clearly is too. Long before the final scene, the episode is setting up Ben as the loose end that Helen is going to want to cut. He needs to get the fuck out of here, however way she can get him out of here. So, let's step back for a minute and consider a possible scenario. So, Helen ends up killing Ben and the birds don't do enough about it because they're scared of Navarro and need to keep their empire growing. Can you really, like... Go try to kill some people in the cartel. Go try to kill people like Helen Pierce. She has a hitman on her side. Just, I don't know if you can really do that. So ideally, what is what is the the reaction to Helen Pierce killing your brother? I, I don't know. Um, imagine how that would play to Ruth. Frank Jr., who assaulted her, gets to live, and her boyfriend has to die. I can't even imagine. I mean, and, and the birds do nothing. Like, what what would Ruth do, man? It feels like Ruth is very loyal to the birds, but she might not make it through that kind of hypocrisy. If the season ends that way, it could easily set up a fourth season in which Ruth plays, plans vengeance against Marty and his family, as much as that seemed unlikely just a few episodes ago. <clears throat> there's just a roller coaster. I mean, there there's all different spots in a relationship that we experience here in this show, you know? <clears throat> Sorry. However, Ruth is front and center for Ben's decline, so maybe she'll be more understanding. She sees that he's deep in an emotional breakdown, and then she sees the real drama at the fundraiser. She realizes just how much, a, to an extent, he he lashes out like this. Like, how often this happens, you know? Well, it looks like Wyatt and Darlene are going to be the variables that crash the party. It's really Ben Davis' is a big night, you know? And I'm sure Darlene and them had Ben not come, showed up. They were going to do something crazy. I don't know. In front of dozens of power players, Ben ends the episode by punching his brother-in-law. It leads to Ben being committed to a state hospital and a truly sad scene between him and Ruth. Really good job by the actor and actress here to convey those emotions. Um, he deserved it, though. I mean, the tragedy is he's not wrong about any of his conclusions about his sister. He's figured everything out and it's broken him. But whose fault is it? The guy went off his meds, year, meds years ago, and he, he's gotten committed multiple times. He's gotten arrested. He has plenty of misdemeanor charges because of this mental issue. But I don't know. In the crucial final scenes, Helen tells Navarro that the birds are an increasingly big problem. She's been their defender for some time now. How will Navarro respond when she's not? Is it possible that he, he'd side with Wendy over Helen? I mean, don't rule that out, because that would surely be a really interesting way for this show to take this. I mean, that'd be kind of wild, actually. You never know. Finally, uh, Ruth asks Wyatt to for help with Ben to get him out. Her cousin goes to Darlene, who has enough corrupt connections to get Ben out of the state hospital. <coughs> Excuse me. Greg, she can... She can do anything with the police now. Like, they work for her. She pays them a pretty decent amount of money. It's kind of fucking crazy and messed up, but yeah. His first stop, Helen Pierce's house, where he drops all the truth on Helen's daughter, Erin, who was not supposed to know shit. But now she does. She said before she'd kill anyone who told Erin the truth about her secret life. There's no way both have Ben and Helen walk out of this season alive. I feel like... One of them's got to die. I mean, maybe Helen goes after Ben and then someone ends up killing Helen because of it. I don't know. It's going to be really interesting, but I'm out. Kind of a short video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Definitely compared to the other ones. But um, I'm going to be posting this. I'm going to start recording my NFL stuff because on Tuesday, 10-17, we are going to be talking about NFL Week 6, I think we are on. So, yeah. Good rest of your day. I have a pretty chill day. You know, I'm definitely going to be watching some Monday Night Football. Might stream some COD tonight. I don't know. We had a pretty nice stream last night, so I'll see you guys later.